I'm going to demonstrate how to use a solver in ProMax. Solvers are generally used in order to manipulate one property in the project in order to achieve another specified property somewhere else inside of your project. Generally it needs to iterate through many times before it finds the value that you are looking for. In order to demonstrate how to use a solver, I'm going to use a sour water stripper. Now we have sour water right here coming into our tower. It has ammonia and hydrogen sulfide as well as water. We have a condenser and a reboiler. We also have stripping steam being injected into our reboiler. The purpose of the sour water stripper is to reduce the amount of H2S we have in our stripped water. Currently, for this model, we have nearly 22 ppm of H2S. Now, we are trying to achieve 1 ppm of H2S in our stripped water. There are many ways to try to do that, but the way I want to demonstrate right now is by adding sulfuric acid into our column. This is 20% sulfuric acid. Now I'm adding in 0.5 standard gallons per minute. I'm going to execute my project. And then now I see that I have 0.08 ppm of H2S in my stripped water. So I'm putting in too much sulfuric acid. We're going to add a solver now in order to find the exact amount of sulfuric acid we need to add into our column so that we have exactly 1 ppm of H2S in our stripped water. So let's do that. I'm going to double click here on my sulfuric acid. I'm going to find my standard liquid volumetric flow, standard gallons per minute. I'm going to leave this 0.5 here. I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to right click on it. Then I'm going to go down to create simple solver. When you're looking at your solver, you have three areas. Right here is where you will write your expression. And down here, this is where our variables will be listed. Now the expression that we write needs to have the, vari the variables that it references here in the measured variables list. So let's go ahead and add a measured variable. The variable that we want to add is the H2S content in our stripped water. So let's find it. We have a basic tree diagram here. It starts with our project, then our flow sheet. The name of our flow sheet is water treating. It's the only option we have. Then we are interested in a process stream, and we're interested in our stripped water, and we are looking for the total phase, and we're looking for a composition, mass fraction, and H2S. So let's go ahead and name that H2S. You want to keep it nice and short and simple so that you can reference it in your expression very easily. And we want our units to be ppm. One thing I should note here is that you are you need to look for text here in this text box. If you don't have any text there, that means Promax does not have any reference here for this variable. It's important to have this text here because that shows you that Promax is referencing what you want it to reference. Now I'm going to click Add. Now I want to write my expression. So anything you write here in this box needs to be equal to zero. Okay, so if I want to write an expression that is H2S equals one, well, I need to set it equal to zero. So I, I actually need to write H2S minus one. And that's my expression.
There are other ways that you can you can write this as well, but this is the way I'm going to do it. Next, I want to show this down here, our calculated value. Again, we're going to leave this in here. In fact, you need to have some value in there. This will give Promax a starting point so that for the many iterations it needs to, to use, it has somewhere to start. So it's going to start here. It's going to figure out what PPM rate um, level of H2S we're going to have. And then it's going to adjust this value again. And then it's going to iterate through many times until it finds the calculated value that it needs to have in order to have one PPM of H2S in your stripped water. Next, the last thing I want to show in here is the priority. Now, it's meaningless to change this right now in this particular project, but you may come across projects where you need to change this priority. If later on you're working on a project that has many recycle blocks and many solvers, you'll want to look at your priorities, especially if it's taking a long time for your project to converge. The priority will show you which solvers will solve first. The higher the value you have in here for your priority means the higher priority that particular solver or recycle has in calculating. It only has to do with the order in which it solves that particular solver. It does not mean that one solver is more important than another solver. So I'm going to leave this as zero for now. I'm going to close out of this box now. And now I'm going to execute my project. This will iterate through now. And it's changing the sulfuric acid rate right now in order to achieve the stripped water value. In fact, it's done now. And it has indeed achieved that 1 ppm down here in our hydrogen sulfide. So we have 0 0.999 ppm H2S in our stripped water. So that is how you use a solver in Promax.